Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Human Resource Machine, where we're going to do the cumulative countdown. Year 25. We're getting pretty old here. What is the purpose of this assignment? I think it's something about calculating the volume beneath staircases. We have to put the interns somewhere. Okay. Outbox the sum of itself plus all numbers down to zero. So this is factorial, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um... Let's call this count. And let's call this... Sum. So, pull from the inbox. Copy to count. Copy to sum. Bump down counts. If it's zero, we want to stick stuff in the inbox. Or sorry, the outbox. Um, if it's zero, sorry, copy from sum. Put that in the inbox. If it's not zero, we know that we need to add sum and then copy it to the sum. Uh, maybe I'm being a little optimistic here, but I think I got this. I don't know why there's a zero here. What did I do wrong? Oh, I, I needed a, a... I see exactly what I did wrong. That should do it, I think. Pick up a 2, turn it into a 5, that's our new sum. Now we have a 1, it's still bigger than 0. Now our sum is 6. So we stick that in the tray. Pick that up, it overwrites everything. 1 is still positive, so uh, it turns into 3, 0. We, that means we're done. Stick that in the album tray. Uh-oh. Oh, that's nice. So this is only countdown, which means... Which means what? If it's zero... Oh, um... Yeah, that. So we'll see if this works properly. Yep. And that was perfect. Next is Small Divide. Remember last time when I told you t you didn't need to divide? Well, now you get to. Okay. Well, we can do that with the bump what is it? Inbox. Copy to one. Inbox. Copy to two. Um, I'm also going to need to make sure... Okay, let's call this R. Let's copy from zero, copy to R. So this is initialization. Now we need to start doing the calculations. We want to copy from, how many times does the second fit into the first? So copy the first, subtract the second. If it's negative, which means we've reached the end of what we're doing, copy from R, 
our results and outbox it. If it's not negative, that means we need to bump R. No, not yet. Um, that means we need to copy our results back to one and then bump R and then jump up here. And after we have our final result, that means we start the loop over again, we reinitialize the board. All right, let's try it. First number and our second number. Now we need to start a result off at zero. So now seven minus two, we know it can go into seven at least once. Five minus two, now we know two can go into seven at least twice. Three minus two, that's still positive, so we know it can go in at least three times. Now one minus two, that'll be negative. So we know that three is our final answer there. Now we go back and we reset the board. Um, for some reason, they gave us exactly the same numbers, but I think that's okay. We reset our results. Everything's initialized. All right, well, we just saw this exact set of numbers. Now we have four and we have eight. Aha, uh -huh. so because I initialized that, yeah, this should work. We know it goes, eight goes into four zero times. So that shows you, I mean, we're calculating both the um, remainder and, I'm sure there's a better word for it. I, I can't think of the, d the dividend. I don't remember my second grade vocabulary here. Um, but yeah, so the remainder is in this slot, number one, and our result is in this slot. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the lobby. Um, we'll watch the cutscene, and then I think that'll be it for this episode. Maybe a slightly shorter episode this time. Man, they sure love coffee. Ah, yes, the ennui, the dolor of the office environment. He said something about petroleum, I think. Um, the first cutscene talked about blackouts in the city, then there was something about um, machines or robots of some sort surrounding the city. That's supposed to be the moon. Whoop. Okay. Unexpected. Okay. Still very cryptic. Well, that was a career milestone. Good time to end an episode. So good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bits bite. Bye-bye.